round 14, the review. The Highlanders beat the Reds 35-30 with a last-minute try. A couple of dodgy calls there. The Rebels versus the Force, they walloped them 52-14, to completely one-sided. The, uh, the Indrua got away with a sneaky little win with a, a kick actually to lose the match. Moana Pacific could, could have taken it away from them in dying seconds. Uh, they won 47-46 after having a really big lead. And then the, the Crusaders, very lucky, just snuck past the Waratahs, 42-18. Yeah, and to round it out, we had the Blues touching up the Hurricanes, 36-25. And the Brums going down 21 to 31 to the Chiefs in Canberra, but you know, scoring a couple of late tries to maybe look a little bit better than what it was. They just got a bit outclassed in that one, which is pretty disappointing. What were the main talking points from the round, Nels? Um, there's a few throughout this. I, I think from that Reds game, the main talking point was they scored the try of the season. Absolute. Hands down, try of the season. I, I can't think of any contenders, to be honest, that that challenge it. Um, that um, James O'Connor flicked back inside after that Wilson run, a, a few pop balls. It was absolutely phenomenal. The boys were, you know, high energy, ready to score that one, and nothing was stopping them, including a head high tackle um, by what's his name, the English hen uh, sh- throwing a shoulder. In, yeah, Burns. Um, throwing a shoulder straight into James O'Connor's head, which people said, oh, no, that's all good, that's fine. And then other people said, no, that should be a ban for life. Um, and also there was a forward pass in that lead up to the Connor Garden Bashup try and potentially a knock on very good. Yeah. So um, con- the laws are different in Super Rugby, mind you. They are a little different, so you can't blame him. Yeah, yeah. You, you, you are allowed to, you know, hit people high apparently in the north. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Um, yeah, look, def- definitely a tough loss for them. On the flip side for the Aussies, though, the Rebels finally put in an 80-minute performance. You can obviously see in my background on the on the tube that uh, Sammy Talakai, I've got his try, which was probably the greatest Sam Talakai run I've ever seen. It, it was only about 10 metres, but it looked like about 40 metres, the way he just went through the middle of the pack. So more of that. The man is looked like a brick shit house. And it's it's good to see him finally having a good run and getting over the line. Harry, is that a compliment? He ran 10 metres, but it looked like 40. I mean, <laughs> you just don't see him run more than 10 metres ever. So, yeah, yeah. <laughs> fair, fair enough. Um, yeah, look, I already touched on the, the talking point out of the Drua Pacifica match. Uh, Lilia Fano, I think it was, they had the chance to to close it out um, for Moana, which would have been a huge upset in Fiji. Fiji broke out to a decent lead, um, but couldn't put in a full 80-minute performance, and and Moana got a sniff and and gave themselves the chance, but alas, couldn't get it done. Yeah, and uh, in the Crusaders, they had a debutant, a new debutant for the Crusaders. They were missing all black props, Bauer, Newell, Moody, Brewers and to Mighty Williams, who was ruled out pre-game. And, of course, that brought in none other than the 39-year-old and 233 days, edging close to 40 after a 12-year hiatus, which is 4,347 days. John Afoa, the former Blues All-Star prop, joins the Crusaders and did a good job, mate. Very, very good. And it was Awesome watching him on camera all game. Like every time they stopped or like pre-game, during the game, he was always just having a laugh and throwing some banter. Like he's just so casual and calm out there. It meant nothing. I'm sorry, I shouldn't say didn't mean nothing, but the, the, he was so used to being out in the middle. It just, the occasion just did not get the better of him at all. I think his biggest concern is what the people in Auckland were going to think when they turned on the telly and saw him wearing a Crusaders jersey. Um, the man wants the, to win the title. Give him a break. Yeah, yeah. And the the Blues, I mean, none other than Mark Talea, the untouchable. He may he got seven tackle busts, but how about this? His opposite number, Naholo, not a single tackle missed. So, I mean, Talea was just running all over the field. All Naholo wasn't wanting to get near him. I, I think maybe the latter just doesn't I, want. Yeah, that's smart play from Kenny Naholo. Just, just, just let him around you. Covering the backfield, man. I was covering the backfield. <laughs> yeah, man, I was just checking everyone else was okay. Run, 
<laughs> we're on our own trial line. No, no, they needed me. They needed me. They could have kicked. Yeah. I was covering. Yeah. Um, and then uh, there was the last one. I don't know. You've, we've said the new superstar. And, of course, Nels, it's, uh, it's a throwback to a throw to your YouTube background. Um, Tommy Hooper. We thought he was an absolute weapon last year when he came on the scene, and we'll call him as a bolter for the Wallabies at six. Missed the bulk of the year after breaking his foot in preseason, I think it was. Yeah. Whatever it was, it was, kept him out until the last couple of weeks, and he is just on fire. He made 17 tackles, 12 runs, two line breaks, five line outs, and a line out steal. Um, and with him on the field, the Brumbies made 16 of their 17 lineouts and won all six of their scrums. So I'm sure we'll get to him in our dessert talking about the loose forwards, but man, he is an absolute machine and it's just straight back into top quality form, which is a bit ridiculous as well. I was saying a couple of weeks ago, I picked him up in fantasy going, this guy, they're going to have to give him some starts because he ended the year last year in such good form. He uh, he's, he's just adds so much to their lineout as well. And geez, he looks good. He He's throwing himself in contention for that six jersey because he has been that good. Even covering Locke where, you know, he's going to do the dirtier work in tight, but he was very, very exciting.